Hey kids, uh, this is Mr. Ryan here. I was just going to bring you your children's lesson today. I um, hope you're doing well. I hope that all your family are doing well. Um, and I hope you're getting ready uh, and possibly thinking about, hey, I'm ready to go back to school. It's almost here. Um, it's getting closer. Uh, so start thinking about that. Um, but I wanted to talk to you and continue to talk to you about Genesis, the book of Genesis. Uh, we're going to be in chap- Genesis chapter 31. Uh, and we're going to be talking about how Jacob, uh, his name got changed to Israel. So uh, recap real t- real quick. Jacob and Esau were twins, right? And they uh, Jacob stole um, Jacob or Esau's blessing, uh, and he bought him out of his birthright uh, with a cup of soup. And so Esau was really mad at him and chased him out and Jacob ran away and he ran to his uncle's where his uncle was and he married uh, Rebecca. And he, um, after that, God told him uh, in Genesis 31 verse 3, he says, go back to the land of your fathers and to your relatives and I will be with you. Uh, so now God has tasked Jacob to go back, and uh, he is to return back home. Um, so what do you think would, ha- if you were in Jacob's situation, what would your initial thoughts be? My initial thoughts would be, well, I made my brother mad. He chased me out, and I ran away. Now I'm coming back. He's probably still going to be mad, and he's going to remember all the things that I did. Um, and so Jacob was nervous. He was worried about it. Um, <clears throat> so um, Jacob uh, starts to go back with his new family uh, that he's created, and he's got all of his possessions and his family, and they're on their way. Um, and Jacob was really worried, and um, he was worried that Esau d- didn't, forget, and he was going to have some really tough uh, conversations, and maybe even Esau might even try to hurt him, and so that he was really worried about that, and as he was about to get there, he went ahead and sent his uh, family and possessions into uh, the spot where Esau and his um, family was, and Jacob was standing there, and he met up, or this man came, and um, he uh, was there alone, and that man came, and he um, started to wrestle with this guy. And um, <clears throat> it turned out that um, they wrestled so long that they wrestled until daybreak, which is until the very next day. Um, and as morning came, the man told Jacob to release him. And Jacob said that he would not release him unless he blessed him. And the man asked Jacob his name. And he said that his name was Jacob, and he released him. Uh, And the man said, Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with men and have overcome. Uh, And so there's a big contrast between his name. So when he was first named Jacob, uh, remember, he held on to Esau's, um, his ankle, and so whenever Esau was first born, uh, <clears throat> and so they named him Jacob because he was a trickster, and as you can tell, he tricked Esau out of his blessing and his um, birthright, and uh, so he was a trickster, but now he's named Israel, and the name Israel means he struggles with God. And so he was really struggling with uh, God and and what he should do, but he was still faithful to God. God told him, "I would." Be, um, he said, "I will be with you as you go," uh, and so he trusted that. So um, he went across the river after that because um, they that was the river was separating him and his family. He went across the river, and he met up with his brother Esau. And remember, he was a little worried about his interaction with Esau. And guess what Esau did? He was glad to see him. He, was, he went up and gave him a hug and um, did anything for him. And he was super excited to see him. So because of that, 
Um, it was all because of Jacob's um, his ability to trust God in what God had for him. God was wanting him to trust in him, uh, to believe in him, and to only look to him for um, blessing and promises. And um, Jacob did exactly that, and God blessed him because of it. So it's important that we today, um, boys and girls, that we listen to God and we trust God in what he is telling us to do. And a lot of times it's hard to hear God. God is, um, you know, a lot of times we talk about praying and we want to pray to God. Um, and that's a good thing to do. We need to continue to do that, to pray and to read God's word. But it's important also to listen to God. Praying is not always just a, uh, a conversation from myself to God or from you to God. Praying is also listening to God and listening to Him talk to us about what we need and what we not want and what we should desire. Um, so God's, um, what God was telling Jacob was that he needed to listen to God, that he needed to trust and obey God in everything that he did. And Jacob did that. And he was blessed. He was blessed with a better relationship with his brother. He was blessed with um, other things and a big family. And uh, it was very important to him. So it's important for us today to remember that. So uh, we need to pray to God daily. And we need to seek God and seek his will for our lives. Not just in um, just the right here and now, but also in the future. God. And so it's important to do that. So with that being said, we're going to end our lesson. I hope you are, um, again, doing well. Uh, and I want to remind you, um, ask your mom or your dad to uh, go online to our Facebook page, uh, First Baptist Church Family and Children's Ministry, and uh, find the registration for Camp in a Bag. And it's going to be an awesome opportunity where you can come to church, you can pick up your bag, it's going to have your name on it, uh, and so lots of good toys and, and things in it. Uh, and you'll be able to take that home and your parents and you can work on uh, different crafts. And um, you can see other devotions that we'll be able to have in there with you. Uh, and so I hope you'll be able to take advantage of that. But you do need to register so we can know that you're coming and we have enough material for you to do. Okay. Uh, so with that being said, we're going to head out. Uh, love you guys, and I hope that you are um, listening to mom and dad and you seek God in everything that you do. See ya. Bye.